Oh, I'm in shock, you know, um, it's, it all feels pretty surreal. Um, it's been a goal of mine for 18 years, you know, you work towards it and you don't stop thinking about it. So now that's coming to fruition, it just, it's just pretty amazing um, and I'm feeling great. The Collingwood Football Club has chosen Josh Dacos from the Oakley Chargers. <laughs> relief was just amazing you know I couldn't believe it when they said Josh there was a couple of Joshes in the draft so when they finally read out you know the right one um, oh, just greatest moment of my life you know it's something that you know um, I've envisioned for a lot envisioned for a long time you know training um, for an AFL club let alone Collingwood so you know um, what that will be like will just be you know amazing it's been a long it's been a long road it's, it was sounding sounding a bit dramatic but you know, it didn't just start over the last few weeks. It's probably, uh, it's been something that's been sort of transpiring, you know, from early in the year. So when Josh went off to Oakley. So he's always loved his football, like a lot of the boys that, uh, you know, are out there. I mean, and just to get the opportunity it, uh, as parents, it's a, you know, on a personal note, it's probably a, a relief that, you know, he's, he's going to get the opportunity. And I'm sure he, he feels that way um, as well, I think. Uh, you know that's something that he's uh, he's wanted to do. Um, he's wanted to make football, a, you know, a career out of it or get the opportunity, and he's going to get that opportunity. So, you know, just to have him placed um, and placed at Collingwood is is extra special. Yeah, huge. Yeah, it means a lot to my dad. Um, he's always been deeply involved in my in my football journey from you know tackers um, all the way throughout to my under 18s year. Um, and I think, you know, he, he never forced football on him. So for he, for me um, to eventually, you know, be playing the game that, you know, he had such a love for, I think, you know, he's really proud of me. Uh, I think he just told me, you know, never take it for granted. Um, you know, I've, I've earned my opportunity of being on an AFL list by working really hard. And, you know, for that to, you know, take another level and, you know, don't stop working hard. The feeling of playing for a club uh, like Collingwood, I mean, I clearly, you know, I had first-hand um, uh, experience in that, and you know, I, I think the the thing is one of the one of the luxuries I I, I did say to him um, was that that you will be showcased in front of some pretty good good fans. So it doesn't matter how the team's going; they still get a, a, a fair following. But in relation to his football, um, it, it's about not taking things for granted, um, which I know is a, an overused line, but, you know, work, just work hard at his craft and, you know, because there's always someone you know, looking over the shoulder ready to take your place. So, yeah, just, just work hard, uh, be honest in your approach and, and um, you know, pretty much um, things should, should fall in place. And I think he'll, he'll do really well in, um, in, in a football environment, working in closely with his with his teammates, so um, yeah, look, he's uh, he's quiet, and you know, he's uh, we couldn't be prouder of him. We love his nature, and and you know, things might change. He's, he's turning 18 um, tomorrow, tomorrow <laughs> day after the draft. So um, yeah, so you know, he'll uh, he'll be a little man, and um, yeah, I dare say uh, things might just change might a little have bit. More to say.